this video is for 15.2. So we are going to be finding different measures of center. So we've talked about one in our last lesson, finding that fair share where we took them and split them up. We're going to call that a different name today. And we're going to talk about a couple other ways that we can identify the center of our data and they can tell us different things about our data. So if you have not tried this 15.2 Spark you're learning, go ahead and try that, and then come back and see some ways that I thought you might be able to do this. So this list shows the height in inches of the players on a high school basketball team. How can you describe the typical height of this data with a single value? So this is telling me that we have got to get this information and we've got to narrow it down into one piece of information. So, right, it wants a single value that kind of summarizes them as a total and as the whole thing. So, I can see I've got these numbers here. So, I'm going to go ahead and kind of put them in a dot plot here. So, I can see it goes down to 68 maybe is my lowest here. So 69, 70. Um, I think my highest is 80. So here's 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, and 80. So I'm going to make this dot plot just so I can organize my information. So it's in order a little bit better. So we've got 69. I'm going to make that bigger so I can see it. So 69, 73, 68, 72, 75, 72, 78. We're here at 74, 74, 80, 69. 70 and 72. So there's a few things I could say. I could say that I'm going to summarize the typical height with the answer of 72 because that one happened the most often. I could add these numbers up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I could add all 13 basketball players' heights up and then which is, I'm going to do a little peeking here, 964 if I add those all up, sorry, 46. And I could divide by 13, and that answer is 72.8. So if all the players could kind of shift their height around, and some of the taller ones give to the shorter ones, they would all end up being 72.8. So that is our fair share. So our most common was 72. And one other thing I could do is I could find this middle number. Now, I don't want to find the middle number of these out of order numbers, but I could say, right, this player and this player kind of cancel each other out. The tallest and the shortest cancel each other out. Here's my next one and my next player, next player, next player, next one, next one. This player goes to this one. This player here cancels this one. So again, 72 is the middle number. So I found the middle, I found the most common, I found our fair share. And two of them were 72 and one of them was close to that at 72.8. So it seems like a pretty good uh, sample of our players is 72 inches. So we're going to be talking about different ways we can find the middle and when it might be helpful to use them. So we, I think you just saw me do it three different ways and we're gonna call them some different names now. So we talked about this mean yesterday, the fair share. So they call it the mean. You should really actually look up why. Maybe you should look up why and message me, let me know, okay? So the median is that middle number and the mode is the most common. Why they call them that? I don't know. So look it up and see. So the mode is the most common. Median is the middle, right? If you are driving down the street, there's a strip in the middle separating the lanes going other ways. We call that the median. So it's the middle and they have to be in order. And then we also have the mean or the average, 
I guess I would say it's mean because, you know, it's the hardest to find. You have to do a little more work, add it up and divide by how many there are. So it's a little meaner of a math problem, I guess. So if you can use all three, the mean, median, and mode today and find answers with those, that's a three. If you can find answers with those mean, median, and mode and determine when is the best time to use each one, that's a four. If you can find two of these, probably the median and or maybe even the mean, if you can just do two of them out of the three we're going to talk about today, that's a two. And if you can do one of those, that's a one. So just one way is a one. Finding through two ways is a two. Three cent measures of center is a three. And deciding when should you use one compared to the other is a four. So these words here, the mean is the sum of the items. So sum means to add them together and divide by how many there are. You might hear that called the average. You might hear that called our fair share or our balancing point. The median is the middle number, or if we'll talk about this, the mean of two middle numbers. We'll do some examples where sometimes you have two numbers, there's not just a perfect middle one, and you've got to find the middle of the middle numbers. And our mode is just the one that occurs most often. It's going to be the highest up on your data point. And sometimes you can have more than one mode. You'll only ever have one mean, one median, but you can have more than one mode. Or if every number occurs exactly the same, if I had four of these, four of these, four of these, four of these, four of everything, we would say there's no mode because they all happen the same. So you could have zero modes, one mode, or several different modes. So we are going to look at these stacks of counters here and their heights go so this one is eight this one has three seven five and seven so the first thing we want to do is put them in order so when we're looking at data we always want it in order and a dot plot is actually a really good way to look at that so we start at three four five six seven and eight so i have an eight here and a three a seven a five and a seven. So putting them in order helps right here. So I can see I've got three, five, seven, seven, eight. So I want to find the median. So I'm going to work in from both sides, canceling one out at a time. So this three cancels out the seven or the eight. The smallest and lowest cancel each other out. This five cancels out a seven. You can even make a list of it. So we have three, five, seven, seven, eight. They have to be in order, right? Three and eight cancel each other out, seven and seven. So my middle number is seven, right? I was left with just this dot here at seven. So the middle in order is seven. The mode is the one that happens the most often. So I usually remember mode, most. So again, they both start with that mo sound. So which one happens the most is seven. And now we want to find the mean or that fair share number. If we took these chips and they still have to be in five stacks and rearrange them, how many would be in every stack? So I can see here's 11 plus seven is 18, plus five is 23, plus seven is 30. And now we want five stacks still. So 30 divided by five is going to tell us the mean or our fair share if we rearranged all the stacks into equal pieces. And that is our mean. So median, quarter, mode, tallest, or the most, mean is our fair share. Add them up, divide by how many there are. So go ahead and complete task one and come back when you are ready to do task two. Task two gives us the average price of gas. So here are some average prices of gas in dollars and cents from some gas stations around the world. So the first thing we want to do is put it on our dot plot. So we've got 3.5 here. Ooh, that was not a good dot. Let me 
try that one again. So 3.5, there we go. 7.99, so practically to the eight, but not quite. So, all right, so here would be 7.6, 8, or 7.7, 7 7.8, 7 7.9, but it's almost 0.99. Okay, we've got 3.25, so halfway between a quarter or zero and 50 cents is a quarter. So here's 25. So this dot plot is a little trickier than some of our ones we've done before. We've got a solid $4, so right on the four. We've got 350 again. 750. Whew, I'm glad I don't live in these places or we would not be able to go anywhere. $3.65, right? Here's 360. So 365 is kind of right in the middle there. Another 350. And another four dollars. So now we want to find the average here. So this dot matches to this one. Oh, sorry, I'm doing the wrong thing. So I'm gonna skip down to the median since I already started. So the middles in order, find the middle here. So 3.5 matches to 7.5. Now I'm here and here. I always like to just follow my dots up. This dot matches to this dot. So this one here in the middle was $3.65 is the middle of the gas prices. Now, while we're, we'll just work backwards since they already confused us, let's find the mode. The one that goes most often is pretty simple here. The most occurring gas price. Now our mean, we're going to take all of these numbers, line up our decimals, going to add them together and divide by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, since we had nine gas prices. So add these up, divide by nine will tell us the mean. So go ahead and complete task two. And then I know that's all your tasks for today, but I wanna go over a few other problems just to get us thinking about these here. So, a set of data may have an odd amount of numbers or an even amount. So this one here has one, two, three, four, five. This set has one, two, three, four, five, six. So they have already so nicely been put in order for us. So we want to find the median. So let's start over here. So how would we find the median, the middle number out of this set of data? Well, three matches to 13, five and 10 cancel out. So the middle is eight. Pretty simple when it's an odd amount of numbers. Find the middle. All the other ones have pairs and you're left with one. So now let's try this one. So we had four and 21, seven and 18. So we're left with 12 and 15. And they're not both the median. We want to find the middle of those, their fair share. So we add these pieces up is 27, and we're giving 27 to a fair share of two numbers, right? Taking these, divide by two, so the mean of the middle. That goes in there one time, and that goes in there three times, and I'm going to bring down a zero. Goes in there 13.5, so right in the middle is 13.5. Five. So when we have an even amount of numbers in our data set, we have got to find the mean or the fair share of these two numbers in the middle. So median, put them in order, cancel out. So you're just left with one. If you're left with two, add them together, divide by two. Okay, this one, we are going to find the median, the mode, and the mean. So we're going to start and put these in order here. So I can see I've got a 12, I think is my lowest. And we're going up to 50 here. So 12, so let's see, after 12, looks like the rest are in the 20s. So here's 25. 
and I used my 50. So there's no more 20. So I've got 32, 35, and 30. So 30, 32, 35. So I'm just putting these in order to do all my work. And then we've got 40 and 42. So our median, we find the middle. So this one matches this. Match, match. So we need to find the middle of 32 and 35. So we add those together is 67. And I know it's going to have a decimal since I'm dividing by two and it's two can't go into seven. So that goes in there three times, perfect. Three times, one left over. So 33.5 is the middle of my numbers. Now my next one asks which one occurred the most often, the mode. They all happened exactly one time, so there is no mode. They all happened exactly the same, just one time. And then our mean, we would add these up and divide by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, would give us our mean or the average, the fair share of those numbers. So let's look at, I swear I put another one in there. I guess I did not. So I think that's everything for today. So you'll remember the mean, you're going to add up the numbers and then divide by how many numbers there are. The mode, this is our favorite one, it is the one that happens the most. If you put it on a dot plot, it's really easy to see. Oh, this one had more than this one. And then the median, you're going to find the middle, but it's very important that you put them in order from least to greatest, whether it's on a dot plot or just a list. So put them in order, find the middle. If there's two left over, add them up and divide by two will tell you the middle. So go ahead and complete your check for understanding. And if you have any other questions on mean, median, or mode, then please be sure to let me know and we can find a time to meet together.